I'm gonna use you as my double sided tape. I didn't mean to. Being on my Push back out. Okay. Give me your words. You know he's gonna give me my kid. Cause I don't know how to back down. How to back down. No, I don't know how to back down. How to back down. Had to say Blair from the beast. I'm a lion, don't test my pride. Standing like a mountain, looking the devil right in his eyes. No, I don't back down, how to back down. No, I don't know how to back down, how to back down. No, I don't. Hello Adventures. I just pulled back in to the RV park here and I had a couple packages. One, this really cool new lens for our camera. Number two thing that I got today that I'm very excited about is new from the Airstream Life Store. Um, if you, Maybe you've been to Airstream Supply Company, maybe you've been to Airstream Life Store, I don't know. They both have things for Airstreams. Um, I love Airstream Life Store one because I've talked to the owners uh, quite a bit and I'm very, very pleased with their customer service. But two, they have some really cool products. They have teak mats for your showers. You can get your Zip D things uh, from the Airstream Life Store. All sorts of hose kits, you know, water hose, dump hose kits, like an Airstream Essentials kit, an Airstream Rivet replacement kit, which is I got from them the first time I got an Airstream. Uh, but one thing they've got new are these cool little latches. So in your main outdoor storage compartments, you have a little black latch. Probably got a 001 key in it, but very soon I'm going to have these nice shiny chrome versions of that latch on this rig. If you'd like to see me install them, very simple. Join me. If you want to check out Airstream Life Store, uh, I have links to this product down below in the video and I also have links to the Airstream Life Store in general. Uh, home page, landing page there. You can also get to it via our Things We Love page on our website 13adventures.com. Tab Things We Love. On the Things We Love page, not only do we have cool merchandise like this, branded 13 Adventures, but we also have right below that a bunch of products we use and love and websites that we use and love. So snap pads, which are on our rig. You've seen me talk about it many times. Boondockers Welcome and Harvest Host. We are absolute huge fans of those companies. Those links are there. Airstream Life Store, those links are there. Uh, so many wonderful, great products on it. Drink Element, which is the electrolyte drink you always see me drinking. And Keto Crisp, which is a wonderful snack bar. So all those things we have there. And then we have all of our Amazon affiliate links for things that we use in our rig that are available on Amazon. So. Sorry my bumper here is so dirty, it just rained earlier today, but I don't think many people realize in the RV industry, there's not many key options. So these lots here are the 001 key, and I can almost guarantee you there's four other Airstreams in this park. Three of the four of them have a 001 key, and I could walk around and get inside their rig if I wanted to. That's one thing I do kind of love about the RV community. It's a pretty honest place. And if you have, I know in some old, uh, our Keystone, Montana, we used to have my door key, I found fit many other people's door uh, around our parks that we had stayed at. So it's, it's, there's only so many key sets that they can make and keys this size. So I'm gonna unlock this and replace these. And these keys aren't very common. I want everybody to meet baby dog. I've had him since I was a baby. He uh, still got it. He slept with me all sorts of nights. He's all kinds of roughed up. But anyway, this is mine from my childhood. So the instructions this time, let's read them out loud so I don't skip step. Unlock compartment door and open door. Remove retaining screw and washer. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Step B, remove hatch nut or latch nut. This is this half inch nut right here. It's probably easier to do if you lock the handle on the other side because it's locked in place. 
All you gotta do is get it loose, and you can then do it with your hand. And that pops off, and the whole lot comes out. And do the same for the other one here. Lock it. Loosen my nut. Take my screw out. Now we're ready for the new ones. So I gotta remove this nut. Put my rubber seal on. The rubber seal is seated. Put the screw down. Go through the same process with the other one. And I'm gonna try to tighten both of these simultaneously so I'm not getting them all the way locked in here yet. Because I need them both to pull evenly. So I'm going to get them both somewhat set up here about the same. I got about two or three threads showing on the top, so I'm going to line it up so it's the same. Test it out. I gotta get the key and unlock them. That feels pretty good. So I'm gonna lock them in place temporarily while I tighten these nuts. Just like that, I got some new locks. Looks pretty great. I want to talk about this new ox block, or ox blocks for just a moment. Uh, I was given this as a gift to try out, so I'm trying it out. One thing, this is the taller of the two that they make that I'm aware of. The other one's a little, a couple inches shorter, but it's a more square box. This one's more of a rectangle. Some things you may want to consider for using this, like on our front jack here, we have the snap pad. So the snap pad fits barely in that little circle there. The shorter one, more square one, it fits very good. You can stack these things up. They're super durable. Got the little, Finger holes here to slide it around with, which I really appreciate. Uh, I like that it's made out of 100% recycled material. I like that it's uh, not super bright. It kind of doesn't detract from the space you're looking in. It looks pretty cool. Seems very durable. Uh, this thing supports up to 10,000 pounds. And I talked to the, some of the manufacturing folks and they they tested it with like way more than that and it still held up, but they guarantee 10,000 pounds. So you can get them for your stabilizing jacks, you can get them for your nose jacks, you can get them for any kind of part of your rig. I do think they're really cool. And since we put the lift kit on this Airstream, I like using these under the nose so I don't have to run the jack so far up and down. Because it does make uh, getting it onto here and off easier because the truck's tall. And with a three inch lift kit on here, I run out of run out of jack room often before I can get to the top to get it up over the ball hits here. So this helps quite a bit. And I like that it's one block and not a series of the Lego blocks that I like to call them. Um, so anyway, it's a good deal. I think Ox Blocks is a good, good product. They have awesomely humorous commercials, so check them out when you get a chance. And uh, Darren, thank you very much for sending this over for me to check it out. Very happy with it so far. We used it in Flaming Gorge this past weekend. Um, and we used it a couple other spots where we parked. So very much appreciate the product. Very much like the way it works. And um, has all my trust and confidence. If you need something like this in your life, check out Octoplots. We just got this package in the mail. It's a Logic Blue Level Mate Pro. I have refrained from putting this on the Airstream for a while because Blair does a wonderful job of 
leveling us out with our little level bubble, which is cheap and free. Or you can use the leveling device on your iPhone if you happen to have one of those. It's really handy. But this thing was $20 off on Amazon the other day. So this is the older version. They make a newer version. So if you have an Apple Watch or things like that, you can use your watch to level your rig. It's really handy. I don't have a watch, Apple Watch anymore. So this one's perfectly fine for me. Now, what I got to do now is find a place where it works. So I can put it here in this cabinet. I could put it here by the front door. I could put it up there. I don't know for sure, but I want somewhere where it's close enough and easy enough to get to where you can turn the little switch on and off on the bottom and not leave it on all the time because it will eat up a set of batteries pretty quick. So I have downloaded the app on the phone. And now I'm going to hook it on to the rig. So I'm going to select travel trailer. Temporarily mount on a vertical surface using the included removable glue strip. This thing. So I got these two little stickers here. I'm going to temporarily mount this right above our fire extinguisher. The temporary stickers aren't sticking very well. Okay, so I'm going to go outside to the truck check the signal strength from there. Now I got to measure from the outside to the outside of the tire so I'm gonna do that. 96 inches and then you got to measure from the center of the front jack to the center of the rear wheel. 236 inches. Label faces front. So now we got to make sure our level is set. So level is now set. So we just command stripped it right up here into the, right up here by our fire extinguisher. And our, it's supposed to be a broom holder or something, but we use it as a flashlight holder. So now I'm gonna go through the setup process again, cause I don't want to screw it into the wall here. It's time to adjust the door again. So if you don't know, you have two bolts here and two up here. You got to take this little turn off. And you can see I got some wear grease splattering down the side. But you can just just plug in here. So these bolts are a T27. I don't want to back them all the way out, so I'm just going to back them out just a little bit. These paint sticks from Lowe's, they're free. So you can. Put a shim in the door here. What was happening is the gap on that side of the door, so the door twisted this way some, so the top you know, was sagging over here. So I have shimmed it up. And what I'm looking at is this crack. Is the crack the same all the way up? It's pretty close. So let's tighten this back down. Another thing you need to do before you start this leveling process is one, make sure your rig is level, but two, bring your stabilizing jacks up because if there's any, if there's one stabilizing jack that's down just a little bit more than the other and it puts a little twist on the frame, this door will not seat right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lock right here and I'm going to push it down just a hair. down just a hair. There's only very little adjustment in this door latch that you can do, but it is possible you can also put a washer to extend it out or take a washer out to extend it in. That's pretty good now. So just put some weatherproof command strips on the back of these. <clears throat> Next time I'm in an Airstream dealership, I'll get some real ones, but 
for now this will work. Just make sure you get the, if you use command strips, make sure there's a sun and waterproof ones. That's some basic adjustments you can do on your door. Not that hard, uh, but it's something you're going to have to do. The more miles and the more bumps you travel and the more you use the door, it will have to be adjusted over time. I'm going to take my silicone spray here. I'm going to lube up the door about that time. And we're going to lube up the door mechanism. While you're lubing things, it's also a good idea to lube this little spot for your... Makes that easy to move. And then this door latch out here, it should also be lubed and along with your handle outside. And if you can get your little straw inside the lock holes, this one won't fit, but some of the smaller ones will. Duplicate your locks as well. All right, Blair, what's your pro tips? Pro tip number one, place hook arm as close to fork as possible. Number two, periodically check bolt tightness. Number three, keep it clean. And number four, drive responsibly. So front tire cradle. I have two. So you're going to place one of them on the left side. This out? Or this? Um, yeah, that way. All the way back to the joint. The battery died before completion, but we have installed our new back rack. Pretty cool contraption. I like it very much. We're about to go pick up some bicycles and see how they fit. Where's your safety strap, though? Oh, well, my Velcro safety strap is in the car, so <laughs> you're gonna have to get it. Get it. Put that down. Just push it down. How it goes. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. It's not like it's going to fall off, right? You would think. I mean, that's what they all say before they fall off and then, like, there's a car wreck. Man, the sunburn on my legs sure is feeling the sun. Oh, yeah? Cool.